Hello and welcome to another episode of the Bureau XCOM Declassified. Let's go! We already know about William Carter. A mysterious package. And we already know what's in the package, kind of. A bit vague. Pretty much like every other top secret mission. Proceed to Dodd Roll. Really? Believe this. When was that invented? Oh my Is god. Falk is, and until we hear otherwise, we assume that he's in charge. For all we know, he's the president. Hey guys, guys, I can roll. Kennedy? Can you can you roll? Go. Let's say. Now. Whoa. I'm gonna roll my way through this level. Jesus. Ooh. What is that? Some kind of power source. Mm -hmm. Like those reactors back there. Yeah, I mean, that looks more dangerous. No, I think they have other plans. What does it do? I don't want to be here when it does it. True. Ugh. Anyone will think Venom's been here? Hey guys. What's causing all this? Aliens, mate. Keep moving. They mess up everything. Stop that there. Oh, hello. There it is. The rail platform. Uh, oh yeah. Let's oh, come on, these guys. On the rail what, what are you doing? Are you mental? John Kenny, give him covering fire. Go here. Uh, send. Oh. How do I cancel? Alright, that's how you cancel. Right click. Yeah, let's put a laser turret in. Boom. Alright, then let's get this guy who's on his way over here. Let's move him. Hmm. Yeah, let's move him up here. Cover there. Okay, okay. And a fire mission. Can we reach that far? Yes, we can. Wicked. Right, let's blow these mothers up. Carter. Action stations. Uh, go through them. Ready your weapons. Current fire. Right Press F1 to order agents to a specific location. Haven't we already figured that one out? That's the last one. Ah, yes. They're all gone. Can I let's jump over there? Before this whole no. place comes apart. Ammunition! Nom nom! I really want to pick up these weapons. I wonder if I'll get to using any weapon in the future. Come on, Carter. Oh, All never aboard. know. Well, you will have to keep watching to find out. Mm -hmm. Right, let's open the gate. Take us to the test site. Yes. What are we waiting for? Um, these guys to get on the train. Come on, chop chop. Let's go. Made it. Too fucking close. Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the test site and signal us when you arrive. Okay. No problem, Gavna. No, I didn't like that. Uh-oh. Hold on to something! Uh-oh. That looks like it's a bit out of control. Yeah, why don't you take a picture of it as well? Oh. It's magnetic. And we're on a train. You two, hang on. Shit. Not good. God damn it. Oh, that's another one going. 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 Gone. And another one gone. Oh no, he's going to lose his head, isn't he? Don't lose your head. Please don't lose your head. Get him up. Come on. Come on. Oh, his, his head's gone. No, it's fine. It's fine. False alarm. The game tricked us. Oh. Oh, is it going to explode? Or cave in? Oh, that'd be wicked. Oh, what are you looking at? Come on. Tell me. Oh. A mountain. Ah, it's caving in. Oh, I wonder if it's going to get so bad that it's going to consume the world. Oh, that's going to be difficult to stop. You have reached your destination. Ah, so where are we now? Radio up there. I just hope they haven't left yet. Can we get a look at this mountain? Where is it? Is it over here? Oh my. Oh what's back here? Shinies, shinies. 
Bullets. God, don't be so pushy, mate. Come on. Are you all the time in a... Well, actually, I don't think we do have... Oh, my God. Is that a sniper rifle? Ah, you know what? I'm going to swap it from M4 aim. Standard US military rock model. 1903 A4. High-powered. Wow. Oh, it's got a scope. Of course, because it's a sniper rifle. Here we go, now you pick up these bullets. Only 10 bullets! Oh god. Ah, uh, more. Here we go, 15 now. I need more bullets for this thing. More importantly, I want to try this mother out. Oh, we can only have 15 bullets. Oh, that's a bit crap. Let's get rid of all my shotgun bullets. Carry some more snipers. Where am I supposed to go? Mm, oh, not up here. Clearly. F5. Over there. Let's go, guys. Follow me. Oh, he's already here. Good, tell me. Nils. Radio. That's a button, not a radio. Falk. Oh. Agent Weaver. Anyone. Never mind. Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your location. What are they? I don't like the look of that bomb up there. Uh, the bomb? Rather head back to the base. Um, what about They're these fine. things? As long as we don't start any tests. Getting right. closer. Oh, God. Right, before they do anything, this guy seems to be doing a runner. Oh, come on. Right there. Come on. I want it there, though. Oh, what's happened? Oh, there we go. That area. Mine out. Then laser turret over here. Turret there. Some cover and fire. This guy could do a fire mission. On... Oh, can we get both of these drop pods? Yes. Just about. Or should we just go for the guys? Ah, oh, let's just go for the guys. Hit there we the go. Hard. Do go it! Us, Headshot! Nice. Combo kill! Godlike. What? That's oh, the face turret. Headshot. Oh. Reload. Headshot. I'm loving. Oh crap. F5. Where's this Sky Ranger? Um. Crap, no more Les Dark shit. No more. Oh, damn it. Just critical strike. At that drop pod. Finish it off. What can this guy do? Mark target, scatter, and a mine. Well, let's mine this guy. I hope you don't mind. Lay down a mine. Get Lay it. Mine. mine. Alright, cover. Take cover. Alright, uh, he's lost his head. That. Got me a combo kill. Uh, what's the laser shooting? A bit silly. Cover! Headshot! Headshot! He did. Um. Oh, there's another guy. Do we actually have to destroy these drop pods? Oh, another 70 seconds. Before I can use the fire mission. It's so long. But I guess it is a bit OP. Is that it? Sky Ranger here yet? Carter, We're standing right next to a bomb. Inbound to you. These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Oh. Blast radius? Carter, what are you? I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep him from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Range is built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. Well, that's good. Alright, do it. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. Hold on, is this an Illyrian bomb? Which is apparently way bigger than any nuclear bomb. I probably shouldn't shoot it then. Didn't think it would do anything. You really going to start the test sequence, Carter? Yeah, I'm mental. 
Here we go. Wait, shouldn't we have got rid? Really... Where's the skylight? Oh crap! We're doomed. Not safe, and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, and we'll get through this. <laughs> yeah, listen to me. I know what I'm doing. With you, Agent Carter. Oh god! Crap! Run! Uh, what can we do? Yes, we can do it all. Wicked. Laser turret. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Laser turret. Cover fire. Mine. Don't want you going near it. Mind that area. Uh, scatter. Now let's scatter this guy who's about to run over here. So he runs into the mine. Um, we will do a fire mission. Come on. Oh, can't get over it. I've got to go down the stairs. Let's do a fire mission over here. Fire and a critical strike on that guy who seems to be doing nothing. Go! Oh crap, forgot about drones. Oh, how long do we have before the bomb blows? Okay. Where are they coming in from? Ah. Ah, wicked. Get ready, guys. We're about to, we got to do a runner. Go, go, go! Everybody in! Quick! Oh, they are so screwed. Don't drop yet. Oh, crap. Ooh! Anyone want some fried aliens? Extra crispy. Mission results. Invasion. Total time 35 minutes. Squad status. Uh, Carter. Not even a level 2 yet. What are you doing? 43 kills? Uh, yeah, that's good, I guess. Acquired technology. Well, I won't call it technology, I'll call it weaponry. A standard pack. When I get a backpack, what can I. What have I carried in it? I've killed 35 sectoids, 2 gun turrets. 36 outsiders and 6 drones. Total kill 79. Beat that. Return to base. Now we're escaping the attack on Groom Range. Carter accompanies Director Fark to a secured location to plan the next steps. Yeah, because blowing them up just weren't good enough. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Cool. Very secret. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. How do we know the pilot's not an alien? Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. We're going underground again. <laughs> Brilliant. Just admit it, you're impressed. Not really. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. Okay then. This base wasn't meant oh, to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. A bit. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two Angela Weaver. What's up? At least this location is secure. <laughs> so was the last one. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. What are you guys have doing? A lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. Oh, okay, dokie. I can put Sputnik up. The brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. Of course. That did it. Hold it there. Uh, don't move it. This is like All NASA's right, control people. room. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Sup, dude? Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Yeah, don't rub it in. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, 
Come on. Our office is right over here. Do you think if we pulled out an iPhone, they would just go mad? How about that for advanced so, technology? This is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Desk? They are. This is both your office and your quarters. I don't want you to do no work? office work. Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer, I prefer Nicholas, Will. Even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. Then I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. What? Yeah. The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. <laughs> Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. You read my file? You bastard. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. <laughs> An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. Yeah. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth. Where were you during the attack, you coward? Yeah. Hiding under the bed, were you? Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. B.S. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? True. Go mad. Loot all the shops. Oh my god, alien attack! Oh, let's get no TV! Tell me about your organization. You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Like ghosts. It sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Uh, Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? Talk, talk, From talk. From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. Civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, Falk acted... Like judges from the X-Factor. If you don't know your dirt, you get caught. The years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we've got a lot of new squatties to bring up to speed. Squatties. Love that word. I need to get myself... Later. Ready. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. Oh, do we get the front seats? But shiny file. Oh, that's my file. It's got my file. I was born the 4th of November, 1920. In Tulsa. Okay to Beryl and Jeremiah Carter. Oh. Education. Engineering. Wow. Marshal status. Widowed. Oh. Mother. Deceased. Wife. Deceased. Son. Deceased. Father. Deceased. I can't help but notice that father, wife and son died on the same year. So, what happened? I joined the army on December 17th, leaving college to enlist shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Service ended October 25th, after which he returned to the college on the GI Bill. Uh huh. Uh huh. However, due to the communications blackout of his mission, Carter did not learn all of the tragedy until he returned in 1960. Oh, so this is it. In 1959, during a deep cover assignment of Laos, a fire at his family home in Arlington killed his father, wife, and son. Oh, so it was a fire. And he didn't know till 1960? Oh, well, it is, I guess, like, next year. 
Hmm. So then he was reassigned to domestic operations. Ah, so must have been quite tragic. Signed by Edgar Hoover. Ooh. Sounds important. Why have we got number three up here? Hmm. Well, anyway. I think we'll leave it there. Oh, after. What's this? His file. Oh, if you want to see his file. Crap, too late. If you want to see his file, look now. He's divorced. Ugh. Father, mother, deceased. Uh, Ex-wife, divorced. Living in Washington. Uh, son, living in Washington. Estranged. Daughter, illegitimate. Living in New York. Uh, boring, boring. No one wants to know his life. It's all about William Carter. I cannot aim my gun to get prepared to shoot him. It is a shame. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. Goodbye.